Well, there are now more than 5,000 coronavirus cases in Indiana schools. 915 of those are just from last week. News 8's Demi Johnson reports Pike Township schools have changed plans because of the rise in cases. I have some concerns, but so far I feel like the schools are doing a, as good of a job as they can. You're scared every day that like something's going to happen. Tara Lutz and Marcy Price are glad their kids are learning in person again. But as cases go up, they're worried it may not last long. I wish there were more resources to do temperature testing and maybe a little bit stronger of a plan for it if when they do get sent home. We can't pretend that things are safe when they're not. So if, if the percentage rate goes up and you have to send my kids back home, you got to do it. Area school districts have different percent positive thresholds and plans. For instance, Indianapolis public schools follow a green, yellow, orange, and red chart. For schools to be in green, the weekly rate has to be less than or equal to 5%. Right now, IPS is in yellow, meaning cases are greater than 5%, but under 11. A spokesperson for IPS says the district is already working in a hybrid model and has no plans to roll back. School leaders at Pike Township announced changes to in-person learning learning yesterday. The update said the COVID data for Marion County has increased beyond our 5.4% back to school plan threshold for two consecutive Mondays. As a reminder, the data is always one week behind. We will return to the hybrid model at all of our middle schools for our in-person students until the positivity rate is at or below 5.4% for at least two weeks, effective Monday, November 2nd. We also reached out to Washington Township Schools. The superintendent said we follow our board Board approved thresholds for changes to our current instructional delivery options for students located on our website. Marion County's data from last week show schools at a 7.1 percent positivity rate. The last time schools were at or below five was the week of October 10th. Safety does have to come first, but the kids just need to be back in school for so many reasons. If the percentages are going to go up and they're not going to close schools, they need to be taking better safety precautions. That was Demi Johnson reporting. A spokesperson from the Marion County Public Health Department says at this time there are no changes to the public health order that addresses schools.